In this tutorial, we're going to discuss a little bit more about changing the design policy of your fuselage. So if you click on this component, under the Design tab, we can change the design policy cross-section order by changing it to something like this. For now, let's talk about loop. So when you change to a loop design policy, notice how cross-section 0 that was here at the origin jumped all the way back to the end of the component. And we can see that here. Note cross-section 0 is now forced to be at a 100% length position. Now, again, all of these continue to be placed relative. That hasn't changed. The difference here is that this cross-section, you can choose the type, and now the first and the last cross-sections are restricted to be coincident and precisely the same. So you have no control whatsoever over 4 except the number of sections between 3 and 4. If you come all the way back to 0, notice how we can leave it as a point, but if we were to, say, go to a hidden view on this component, it's hollowed out in the middle. And this is very useful. So if we were to change this to something like a circle and give it some diameter, notice how this component is actually hollow. Now the reason you might want to do this is for something like an engine nacelle where you want to model the outside using one surface and then place, say, your internal flow-through areas as a set of cross-sections or if you just wanted to make it, say, a finite thickness component. You can do that with this. But be very careful because we set the design length from the, com the end of this component all the way to the 100% design location. But physically, this section starts at 25%. So under the cross sections, you need to come to cross section 1 and drag it all the way back to 0. Now the physical length of this component is the same as the design length. So bear that in mind when you're doing stuff like this. Now this means that with the loop policy, you can make all sorts of really wild shapes that wrap back in on themselves. So for example, if you wanted to model something like a wind tunnel facility or a closed loop wind tunnel, you can put those sections in there, define it so that the turns are set up appropriately, etc. And then you can use the inside of that component as your wind tunnel walls. Another thing that you can do just as a demonstration for how crazy this can get is you can have a component that wraps around on itself, changing directions and bending in all sorts of different ways, but the first and last section are going to be coincident. So in this case, I took a component, wrapped it on itself, used four different cross-section types, in this case an ellipse, a super ellipse, an airfoil, and a wedge-shaped square or diamond in this case, twisted them, turned them, and bent them back on themselves, and made a watertight component in VSP. So if I really wanted to, I could export an STL or even do a comp geom on this component, and it is watertight and it is a solid. So there are a number of wild things that you can do by changing the fuselage design policy and bending and shaping this.